Hey guys, thank you so much for watching how to make amaranth porridge. Um, so I'm starting off by getting a medium sized saucepan and we're gonna take two cups of water and just go ahead and boil it. And then once you have a boiling point, you're gonna go ahead and add in your one cup of amaranth. And today I'm using the Bob's Red Mill amaranth. You can find it at any health food store. And then you're going to want to go ahead and stir this up because it will develop clumps if you don't do this. Unless that's what you're going for then that's, that's up to you. And then so after you stir it you're just going to reduce the heat, put it on low and cover that sucker up. As for cooking time we're going to just set the timer for 20 minutes. And this isn't done yet, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's going to look like in the process. That's what you should be looking for. Time is almost up. Okay, time is up, so we're gonna turn the timer off. And then we're gonna uncover the lid. And as you can see, there is a little bit of um, excess liquid on the sides, so I just uncovered it so that way it can evaporate and absorb, absorb into the amaranth. And basically this is the consistency that we're looking for. It looks like sand, I know, but it's delicious sand nonetheless. No, just kidding guys, it doesn't really taste like sand. I love it so much. Um, I have some vegan butter that I really like to add to this just to give a little bit of a flavor. Um, this is very similar by the way as cream of wheat if you've ever had it. So I also love to put this agave in there for some added sweetness. If you also have any maple syrup, I highly recommend either one. It just adds a great flavor. And then I have some roasted cacao nibs, I have some coconut chips, and I have some chia seed. And this is a super hearty breakfast. I recommend this for a very long day if you have one ahead of you. Try this out and don't forget to share this recipe guys. Thank you so much for watching.